Welcome, welcome Geminis to this season of um, the Capricorn season. This is the Abundance of Money and Prosperity reading for you Geminis um, for the Capricorn season. The Capricorn season begins uh, um, December 22nd until January 19. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares and support. Geminis, this is going to be a wonderful, positive year that is coming up. And uh, we have uh, the symbol of the shoes, the yin and yang ring. We have the rose and we have five changes that's coming up. So Geminis, this is um, good. This is wonderful. All right, Geminis. Um, so if you choose the energy of the shoes, you're going to be dealing with the king of pentacles. Whoever this king of pentacles is, um, this is like a boss or a supervisor or a manager, but you're going to be taking on this energy of this King of Pentacles. So a lot of you could be in management position or um, you are your own boss and you're going to be learning to work with this energy. So I see this Capricorn season helping you, Gemini, to create your own wealth, create your own world, to be aware, to be um, on top of your game to stand in your power of being that um, person that has uh, um, the financial stability and create your own financial stability. So I see for a lot of you, Gemini, especially business people, you're going to be standing in your power in such a wonderful way, using the, um, the resources that you have at hand in order to create your materialistic stability and abundancy. So the energy of the shoes is really working um, Gemini's with uh, the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is this businessman. This businessman create a lot of wealth and stability. And this businessman is going to be helping some of you or you are going to be using the energy of this businessman in order to create and uh, bring back wealth and stability in your world. So this is going to be absolutely fantastic. This is going to be when you are um, creating your own wealth in a wonderful, um, positive way. As we move to the second energy, the second energy is a yin and yang ring, and it has to do with the Queen of Cups. Who is this Queen of Cups and what is happening between you and this Queen of Cups? So some of you ladies could be um, taking on the more mature, mature um, nurturing sense uh, in the business world or in your career or at the workplace, okay? So what that is doing is softening you up, but in that is also helping you to acquire what it is that you um, want to create for yourself. And this is going to be wonderful and positive because whatever is happening is as if there is going to be another person that is going to be help you to move forward. So we see this energy of you ladies taking on a more nurturing effect because you're always going very sharp, but now you're standing back and because you're taking on this nurturing effect, um, the information that is going to be behind this ring is going to be guiding you in the direction in order for you to create your own wealth and stability. So women, this is going to be absolutely fabulous. You're working with the energy. You're having that soft, smooth um, energy where you're standing in your power, but yet still you're protecting your environment. And this is going to be absolutely wonderful because you are bringing back some sort of a stability in your world and it's creating what it is that you want. Okay. So this is good. As we look at the third energy of the rose, the third energy of the rose have another person. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with the king of cups. Is this person working in your favor or are they working against you? Who is this person? Is it your boss? Is it your a business partner? Is, is this person supporting you in any way? But this person has something to do with your financial abundance flow in this uh, period. So if you choose the energy of the rose, you're going to be dealing with the king of cups and whoever this king of cups is, uh, um, he is going to be having um, some sort of uh, uh, influence in your life, whether or not uh, 
um, he's going to be working with you or working against you. So I see that this transition is going to be coming up for a lot of you. Some of you men could be using this soft energy as you return to work in the first week of January. You could be using the soft nurturing energy in order um, to show your appreciation to uh, the people at the workplace. And this is going to be good. So however way this is coming up and this is playing out, the energy of the rose carries the energy of the King of Cups. So whether this person is, whether they're working for you or against you or supporting you in any way, this is going to be absolutely brilliant, brilliant time to open up and uh, work with this person because they're going to be um, helping you to move forward. Is it a lesson they're here to teach you? Whatever it is, they will be there to help you. So we are going to be moving on to the number five. And the number five is about changes. So in the second week, some of you could be um, signing a new contract, changing your job, relocating. Um, so um, this is good. However, way it is coming up for you, it was meant for you. So you have to understand um, that a lot of you could be changing your contract, um, changing workplace, or you could be relocated. Maybe you went back to work and they said, oh, we have some someone else. We need to have someone else in another place another department is going to be okay they're going to be asking you to go so gemini you're going to be um, um working with uh, a lot of people um and uh, um you could be coming the manager so if maybe you were running the apartment i see you could be getting um from a super moving from a supervisory position to a management position and this is going to be wonderful because this is going to be exhilarating you and exhilarating your financial stability so you start out the year on a very positive note especially when it comes up to your abundancy uh, money and prosperity because what it, that is doing is really bringing transition in your world and is helping you to become more financial uh, stable in your world and you're going to be creating the wonderful alignment of energy in order to make sure that each and every person is aligned with the correct energy. Gemini, it looks good for you. You'll be just working with manager, supervisor, but they are going to be helping you to exhilarate and you could be taking on the energies of these water sign people and this uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn person. The energy of the house is about a relocation that is going to be coming up for um, you, Gemini. And this is going to be good because it's going to be pushing you in a new direction and you're moving from one position to another position, but this is an higher position that is going to be creating more financial stability and wealth in your world. So Gemini's, please like and share this video. Remember, in order to see which one of these energies you're going to be choosing, which one of these uh, symbol and energies you're going to be choosing, use the link below in order to get there to choose your symbol. I love you guys. Please like and share. Namaste.